Hi guys, Arnold Broad here with another news update on men's health. And in this issue, we want to talk about ED medication, erectile dysfunction medication, such as Viagra and Levitra, Cialis, and the fact that they can work, but they have some other issues, and we'll talk about that. If you have any questions about this video or any of the videos on my channel, just give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790. If you'd like to email me, just click on the link below this video and it'll take you to an email form. Now let's take a look at what we have today. Now when we talk about ED meds work, I guess the question we have is what do we mean by work? Now the usual ED meds that your doctor prescribes, and you know the ones you've seen on TV, are great for short-term symptom relief. Now you have a headache, you take an aspirin, headache goes away. If you have a headache for weeks in a row, you want to look at, well, why do you have that headache? Why are you having a headache for weeks in a row? Same thing with ED. ED meds work in the short term, assuming they work for you at all, but they work in the short term, but they don't really look at the reason you're having ED problems. Now, I'm really all for symptom relief. If you have that headache and you take two aspirins, they go away. If you have ED and you take Viagra and you're able to have sex again, that's great. That is really great. However, if you're not treating the underlying cause of the ED, then you have a problem. Because ED is, at its core, a blood flow problem that ED pills don't address. They don't address why you're having a blood flow problem and where does it come from. Now, even if you're lucky enough to have success with your prescribed meds, and they only work for about 60% of the guys, and some of the guys that it works for, they just don't like the side effects, so they stop taking them. But even if they work for you, over time, about 50% of the men they'll stop working for because you're really not addressing the underlying cause and the underlying cause has gotten worse. Usually the underlying cause is damage to the lining of your blood vessels called the endothelium, which means that you stop producing adequate amounts of nitric oxide, which increases blood flow. And that's how an erection works. Now, some of the underlying causes of ED are high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, being really overweight. And what these all have in common is that they do damage the lining of your blood vessels. Back to what I said before. The lining of your blood vessels, the endothelium, produces nitric oxide. When this is severely reduced, your blood flow issues arise and ED issues arise. So what you're really looking to do is not only have some short-term relief by taking meds, but also work on the underlying cause and healing that. Now a main way to heal the underlying condition is through something called nitric oxide therapy. Nitric oxide therapy is a really powerful method that heals the lining of your blood vessels so that your body can naturally produce nitric oxide on its own. Nitri nitric oxide therapy is great for high blood pressure, cardiovascular issues, complications of diabetes, and what we're talking about erectile dysfunction. If you'd like to see a really good video on nitric oxide therapy, there's a link to one in the description below this video. If you have any questions about the nitric oxide therapy video, this video, or any of the videos on my channel, give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790. I want to thank you for stopping by today and watching this video. Have a great day, and here's to your good health.